This video is an update to a Questive Therapeutics pipeline and news they have to share about one particular program for a uh, buccal film for the delivery of epinephrine, which is part of their clinical pipeline. And we can take a look at that in more detail and to learn what their news are all about. The particular program in question is AQST 109 for epinephrine delivery against anaphylaxis as well as severe allergy. So let's take a look. Although I have a PhD in biomedical engineering and over 15 years of working experience in the healthcare industry, I do not intend to give you investment advice. Please consider your own risk profile before making any investments and research your investments wisely. AQST 109 is in phase one clinical trials and in the month of February they actually had three interesting news to share about this particular program. For instance, on the 1st of February the phase one trial updates that epinephrine can meet therapeutic thresholds when administered sublingually. So let's take a slightly closer look. If you are aware of epinephrine, because you might suffer from an, or the risk of anaphylactic shock, most of you are aware that epinephrine today is commercially available in the form of so-called epinephrine pens, which means that in a case of emergency, the uh, drug epinephrine must be injected. In this case, this is the phase one study which demonstrated for the first time that epinephrine can reach therapeutic plasma concentrations, that is in the blood, via the sublingual administration. As I had outlined in a previous video, Equestive Therapeutics are unique in the sense that they find new and more convenient delivery methods for known drugs, such as in this case epinephrine, and that new delivery method is sublingual administration, so below the tongue, versus the need for injecting it. And what this phase one randomized single ascending dose study uh, has been able to show is on the one hand to, to assess or to confirm the safety and tolerability, but also, and perhaps more importantly, the pharmacologic profile. In the pharmacologic profile, what is uh, important is that the necessary dose in the uh, bloodstream is reached in equivalent time uh, in comparison to let's say the traditional ad route of administration via an epinephrine pen for instance. So apart from the fact that sublingual administration is more convenient and also the packaging is uh, more convenient to carry around versus a pen, the interesting part is that in this study all volunteers were monitored for adverse events and local tolerability and the uh, blood pressure um, diastolic as well as um, systolic blood pressure were all taken before and up to six hours after dosing and ultimately well there were no um, adverse events. Most medical situations that require administration of epinephrine are emergency situations, which means that the concentration of the drug in the bloodstream must be delivered very quickly in order to provide the protective effects that epinephrine is known for. And in this particular study, AQSD 109, the medication was absorbed rapidly and converted to uh, epinephrine with an observed medium time to reach the maximum drug concentration within 15 minutes and observed peak blood levels Cmax of 762 picogram per milliliter of blood. And very importantly, these findings are comparable to the published uh, study results both for the so-called EpiPen and RV uh, Q-epinephrine autoinjectors. In addition, the dosing with AQST 109 resulted in changes in blood pressure and heart rate that are comparable to epinephrine auto-injectors. So that is really good news because that means that changing the way that epinephrine is delivered, in this case sublingually, has no impact on the pharmacokinetics. And then just a few days ago on February 24th, a quest of Therapeutics was happy to announce that the FDA have cleared the IND or Investigational New Drug Application for AQST 109, that is the epinephrine oral film. And well, why is that important? Because this allows now with the cleared IND 
to continue the uh, clinical trials in the US, which will help to continue to advance the development of this program um, with well, for emergency treatments, severe allergic reactions, including anaphylaxis, and as I had outlined before, in a much more convenient form factor to use, carry around, and deliver that very uh, much needed epinephrine in case, case of emergencies. And then only one day following the IND clearance by the FDA on February 25th of 2022, Aquestive Therapeutics reported positive top-line data from part one of the so-called EpiFast clinical trial, which is evaluating a QST epinephrine oral film. And what they have done in this particular study is to demonstrate that the oral delivery of epinephrine via AQST 109 continues to show rapid absorption as well as a median uh, time to peak concentration of only 13.5 minutes. Secondly, as in any phase one clinical trial that's necessary to demonstrate is the safety and tolerability. And based on those positive results, the part two of the EpiFast clinical, clinical trial has now commenced. As part of the EpiFast trial, the part one is actually a randomized open-label three-part adaptive design and crossover study in, of course, as for part one uh, clinical studies, healthy adults, which were aimed at comparing the pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics of epinephrine delivered on the one hand via Aquestive's AQST-109 oral film in comparison to intramuscular injection of epinephrine, such as with, for instance, the uh, so-called EpiPen. And this study was con conducted uh, by clearance from Health Canada. So in part one of the study, multiple different formulations and doses strength of epinephrine embedded in AQST-109 were actually evaluated. And this is done to ultimately determine the so-called lead candidate, that is the most ideal concentration of epinephrine in this, uh, well, sublingual uh, film. And as I had just mentioned uh, before, epinephrine is needed in cases of emergency to uh, treat and combat anaphylactic shock. So the onset of reaching a meaningful concentrations of epinephrine is absolutely crucial. This is the data that uh, Aquestive Therapeutics have actually been able to obtain comparing the so-called gold standard, which is the epi uh, intramuscular injection. <clears throat> and this is of uh, 0.5 milligrams. We can see here the concentration in the blood in terms of picogram per milliliter and here the uh, time axis uh, in terms of hours. So what we can see here is that the um, concentration with uh, intramuscular injection of epinephrine with the so-called EpiPen ultimately peaks at roughly close to, well, one hour, just shy of one hour, um, and reaches a peak concentration of about 500 picogram per milliliter. When we compare the two different configurations of epinephrine in AQST 109 formulations, here the red line as well as the blue line with the triangles in opposite directions, we can see on this graph very clearly that the onset and the peak plasma uh, concentration of epinephrine in, in the blood in terms of picogram per milliliter is happening in much shorter time frames. So remember, we had roughly one hour for the intramuscular injection and with the sublingual film in the configuration A, we get even a much higher concentration of just uh, below 700 picogram per milliliter. And this roughly 30 minutes after the administration and with the configuration B, we look at the blue line, we get just shy of uh, 500 uh, picogram. And this is ha happening actually, um, yeah, sort of at the 20 minute mark. So that is very important and very promising as well. It really seems to uh, indicate that the sublingual film uh, provides epinephrine into the bloodstream in much faster uh, ways or in a much, much faster modality in comparison to the epinephrine uh, pen intramuscular injection. So when we take a look at what this uh, these news announcement did to the stock price, 
Well, of course, there is no denying that Equestive with the overall market and the biotech sector have continued to slide over the months. And we see a decline stock price, of course, uh, now just above uh, $2.50. But when we take a look at the uh, one month mark, we uh, see <clears throat> that uh, with the announcement uh, just around February 23rd, the stock price actually came up uh, yeah, to sort of the late January levels. And uh, perhaps this marks really now uh, po enough positive news for a quest of therapeutics stock price to stabilize and combat this uh, downward trend that if we've been observing for uh, quite some time on the stock. I hope you found this video useful for your investment purposes and research. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking it and subscribing to my channel. And leave me your thoughts about Equestives in the comments below.